Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the recently released reporter mode and side-by-side -side mode when presenting content in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to get started with the new reporter mode and side-by-side -side mode, what you need to do is you need to turn on your camera feed. And essentially what these new presentation modes will do is they'll take your camera feed and will arrange it nicely with the content that you're going to be sharing in your meeting. Next, you wanna go ahead and click on the share content button. And then if you've received these features, what you'll see here under the text that reads presenter mode, you'll see a icon that says side by side and you'll also see a new icon that reads reporter. Now before I click on these, I'll also call your attention to this new customize button. Clicking on this is going to bring up a series of backgrounds and what you want to do is you actually wanna select a background before selecting one of these new modes uh, because this will be the background that your video feed and shared content will actually appear on. So I'll go ahead and select this white and blue background here, and then I'm gonna press the back button, and I will start by clicking on the side-by-side -side icon. Now, when you actually press this, you'll notice that it is sort of uh, turns white, whereas the other icons are grayed out. That's indicative that you've actually selected that specific mode. And then you want to go ahead and select the content to be shared. Now, it's important to note that you can't currently use these features with the PowerPoint Live uh, content sharing. So if you were planning on presenting a PowerPoint and you wanted to use one of these features, you'd actually have to share that presentation um, through your window through the PowerPoint desktop application. Uh, it's possible Microsoft may add support for PowerPoint Live in the future, but it's not currently available at release. So next, what you can do is you'll either select a screen that you want to share uh, or a particular window. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select a screen and what you'll see here, as soon as I click on that screen, a new window will pop up. And I will just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here. And what you're going to see is the shared content and my video feed sort of arranged nicely on that background that we selected. Now, if you wanna go ahead and stop sharing, you can just press the stop sharing button in the small meeting window, and that's going to revert you back to the main meeting window. Next, I'll show you how to use the reporter mode. Same idea, same steps. You want to click on the share content button, and then this time you wanna go ahead and select reporter mode. And reporter mode essentially is going to blur out your background, so it's only going to show you, uh, and it's going to place your shared content slightly above your left shoulder. So I will select reporter here, and I will go ahead and share my screen. And again, a new window is going to pop up, and you're going to see my um, background has been blurred out and again, the content is just being shared uh, slightly to the left of me. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the new Microsoft Teams side-by-side -side and reporter mode in a meeting. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobalos, thanks for stopping by, talk soon.